What to do, drama babies? Hey guys, welcome back to or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell at the very bottom. So in this video, I'm going to be painting on canvas some wall art for my bedroom. Since I realized that the wall is so plain, so I needed to give it a lift. So anyways, the videos that you see right now are screenshots of pictures I took off Pinterest to get inspiration and that's one I went for and the other one with the hills yeah so I learned a few things doing this which was quite interesting and I continue learning in the process so I learned a lot about what kind of paint I would preferably use and what paint I shouldn't use so I had a couple of pictures that I really wanted and I felt like yes this is good yes this looks nice and I wanted to use them but all in all I realized that I didn't have ample time to do the painting so I decided to go for something that would work out so in the beginning I had wanted to do this very picture and the other one which is this picture right here but then I changed my mind because I asked people what kind of pictures did they think were right for, for the bedroom and that were relaxing for the bedroom and so when they suggested I went with their suggestion. You can see that's my wall, it's plain. I got a stencil alphabet stencil and I just prepared everything for the first painting so this is picture number one I did uh, trim on the side of the canvas because I wanted it to look like it is framed so I did outline with the pencil and then I started filling in with the paint it was quite interesting though I had a hard time trying to place the um, the right composition for where the nose is and where the mouth is I had to redraw that several times for it to fit for it to make sense and in the end you guys will see that I did something and it worked out <laughs> so yeah so that's me filling in the words but this is a problem because I should have done the background first. You see later on in the video what I'm talking about. Because painting the words first meant that it was going to be swallowed up by the background. Not me the watching the story, so girls. Anyways, let me pause that. Don't mind my screen. It's been broken for some time now, so embarrassing. So anyways guys this is how far we is and yeah this is basically how far I have gone I'm not yet done drawing the mouth on I hope it's gonna fit it's gonna look good because I'm just nervous and okay over here I made a mistake to paint this first it should have been like the last thing I should have painted and maybe the hair as well I should have done the background first but this is the first time for everything you know as you learn you grow so I've been mixing colors over here right now I am using all oh, that thought. I'm using gulch paint I remember back in uni back when I was in China we used so much of these paints and then that was for fine arts class but anyways um yet to use the acrylics i'm going to use them i think on another painting because it's easier to use gotch paint than acrylic right now uh the gotch paint is not coming off so that's a good thing so i think i'm going to use acrylic paints for a different painting but this is 
basically what I got so far. So tell me what you heard about me. That's my stomach crying. Really embarrassing, but anyways, guys. Hold that thought. Let me set my tripod in a decent way. Okay. So guys, oh my sister is asleep and I'm here making noise. My face is doing absolutely bad right now and i think i'm gonna do like skincare treatment hippie soon two thousand years later what it do drama babies hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you comment like subscribe and turn on your post notification bell at the very bottom so in today's video i well before i dive into this video i'd like to acknowledge all new subscribers guys thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel your support really means a lot to me and i am basically going to do painting number two for over my bed i'm trying to do this mini makeover i have a headboard being done for me by my mom i'm going to do that in a separate video i really need this i'm going to do this in a separate video so yeah let's dive right into this video so i basically prepped the canvas for the painting right i also demarcated did the offset for the border but since I'm not doing the full painting, I'm not going to finish it today. I'm going to finish it another day because I have other things I'm committed to. I'm using gotch color because I can easily wash it off. Even if I forgot to wash my brushes or something, it will easily come off. So that's the case. Besides, it's not like I'm going to touch them with water, touch the paintings with water. So yeah okay so i did construction lines i was sort of having a hard time aligning the drawing but we're getting somewhere okay so i learned from the last time that i need to start with the background then fill in the main how to say thing that i'm trying to highlight the focus right why because if i do the background after the lines will go in and smudge the point of interest the main focus if i paint the main focus first hence that's why i am going to do the background first and then you know what it do and then i'll come in to fill in this part and also the background i'm going to fill it in at the end because i don't want paint on my easel <laughs> So I'm just going to do it off the easel. So yeah, let's wait and see what it comes out like. Don't worry about my cracked screen. But anyways, guys, I'm watching Why Women Kill. That's crazy. But in the meantime, I'm waiting for this to dry, which is the background. And then I'm going to fill in the rest. So this isn't yet dry um but i use some masking tape to outline the ends of the painting so it looks like it's framed i'll show you what it looks like when it's up there i realized that i didn't finish completely the drawing i think on some parts i oversaturated the paint with water so next time i know that i shouldn't use a lot of water i should use just a bit but yeah we put some strands on honey and basically finished her up omg you guys you see that like i'm just so excited guys like i'm so happy i am so happy
I know guys the burst strokes weren't looking all that but yeah so that's what we have right now so I'm left to do my headboard which I will be doing in another video and guys I know the positioning of the frames is too much on this side on the left side guys my brothers are arguing what the heck anyways so I know the position of the positioning of the frames are on this side more on this side than on this side but anywho yeah I also had trouble with placing the canvas together like in the same line if you notice one is slightly lower than the other one but that's not a problem so I will be putting a barrel over there as my nightstand and I will basically decorate it with a few stuff and then I will show you in another video until next time bye yo guys you see that you see that that is so cute I really can't wait for my DIY headboard to join the group chat because I'm about to make this a sanctuary baby I'll probably do one painting for my sister up there on top of her bed when the time is right so it is what it is. Don't mess with me. Don't play with me. Day two, day three, day four. Guys, funny thing is, Dad brought me a barrel that I'm going to use as a nightstand. I have other plans for this. As you can see, there's storage inside. And you can lock the top like that. And I'm just so excited. So I'm going to add wheels at the bottom and do some extra stuff in the future. So guys, yeah. You see that? Ba bam Mm-hmm, making progress. Cause sometimes the rain comes to go the flower. Sometimes the rain comes to drown.